So have you all been out doing all your different shopping and everything over this past week? All the sales at all the stores. And you've been hitting all the different retail markets and malls and everything else. Well, did you hit Walmart? Walmart has secretly been doing something while they're giving away all these great deals, these flash deals that they have online, and all these big deals are having in the stores on a daily basis. And More than likely, a lot of this different product has probably been sitting around for a while, either in a warehouse, on a truck, or in a container setting out back of your local Walmart. A lot of you people have reported on seeing those containers. Now, what has Walmart been doing? While they're giving you all these great deals on your TVs, your smartwatches, your phones, video games, your vacuum cleaners, your cooking utensils, pots and pans, clothes, and just about anything else on the other side of the store. Well, this is what's taking place. While you're over there and you're doing all your shopping and everything else and you're trying to get all your Christmas goodies and presents for everyone in your family and get that all done and everything else and you're racking up that credit card that you're going to be paying out the rear end for come January, you're going to be crying when you get that bill. Well, wait till you go back over to your food section. Walmart has started raising the prices of a lot of their different products over in the food section. While all you people are over there not paying attention at all and you're just walking around and you're putting things in your cart that probably people don't even need, wake up. All of a sudden now, if you go over to the meat aisle and the chicken, pork, red meat, prices have all started going up on a lot of different products. Maybe not by a lot, but they've gone up even more. Here's the trend, folks. The prices are going to keep rising. Why are they not offering deep discounts on some of their food products? Ask yourself that. Could it be because there's a food shortage? Maybe. Because why is it that in years past, they've always had real killer deals on canned goods, uh, dry goods, um, all these different types of things. But this year, there has been none. Yes, they did lower the price of their uh, green beans and things of this nature, the Walmart brand in the can. They dropped it from 58 cents to 50 cents back to where it was. But that's just on mostly green beans and maybe your canned corn. Everything else stayed at the same price. Your canned potatoes are 88 cents now a can. And if you want a name brand canned good as far as canned vegetables and stuff, that's going to set you back anywhere from a buck 42 to almost uh, 289 a can for a name brand canned vegetables. Rice has been on the increase too. A little here, a little there, it all adds up in the end. It's costing you more money. If you haven't noticed, the produce, no matter where you shop, has been in pretty sad shape, at least in my area. Comment below on what you're seeing in your area. Moral of the story here is, if you go back to the egg section, I think the price of eggs has almost doubled. Eggs are just ridiculously priced. An 18-pack of eggs that used to cost $3.88 at Walmart is now over $5. A dozen eggs, which used to cost you a buck eighty-eight, is now three twenty-eight in my store. How much are you paying for your eggs in your local area? And that's for Walmart brand. If you want to buy fresh, free-ranged eggs, chicken eggs or brown eggs or any of those different types England's best 
any of those, they're going to cost you between four to five dollars for a dozen of eggs. Cheese is on the rise and it just keeps going up even more and more and more. Milk prices have gone up. Butter is through the roof. The butter is just like, forget it. You'd be better off to save your money and buy a cow and make it yourself. Same with your milk and your cheese and everything else. Because with the prices, the way they're going, people aren't going to be able to afford a lot of this stuff. And they're slowly raising these prices behind the scenes. And what better front to do this with than the holiday? Thanksgiving holiday weekend, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. You know, they're going to get you. And you're going to use up those credit cards. And you're going to max them out. And then come January, you're all going to be crying the blues because you can't pay the bill. Because it's going to be costing you even more for food, for fuel oil, for your home, gas in your car. Yes, gas is going down right now. Oh, it's all over the news, folks. Have you heard? Oh, Lord. You know, look what the government has done. They've lowered the gas prices. Basically, what they're doing is to keep the prices low, folks, in case you haven't figured it out, is depleting our national reserves. That's how they're keeping the prices low at this point in time. Yes, they're trying to tell you also in the background that, well, we are also taking and we're producing more. Our refineries are all up and running and we're all catching up and everything else. Wow. So why is it that I have three stations within two miles of me that no longer have diesel because they can't get it in? They didn't take the pumps out. They're there. They just don't have the product to sell. The crisis is coming. The crisis is what's going to get us in the end. These people think that we are just not really paying attention to what's going on. And a lot of people aren't. Some of us are. And that's why I keep reporting to you what is taking place. You have to make sure you are trying to secure any deal you can find on food products. Not on the Black Friday sales, folks. You have to make sure that you're putting your priorities in line in the times that we live in right now. I don't want to see anybody get so far in debt where they can't survive. That's why I do my videos. So pay attention because they're using these big sales, the Black Friday, the Cyber Monday. They're using all these sales that are going to continue on right through Christmas, I guarantee you. And they're using these, all these stores, as a smokescreen. Because when you go back in to buy the food that you're going to need, you're going to notice prices have gone up, things are missing. Make sure you do put your comments and stuff in. I'm curious to see what's going on throughout the country. It's always nice when you people chime back in with what you're seeing in your local area. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Make sure you tune in for next Saturday night's live stream. It's a big Christmas bash giveaway. We're giving away a lot of stuff as a thank you to everyone that has supported or watches Survival Preparedness for Beginners. That's live Saturday night at 8 p.m. Till then, you all stay safe, keep prepping, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.